Yeah. So it's uh, Chippy, we're at Mobile World Congress, Petcom event, Digital Focus, at the AMD booth, where they've got Tamash, or Timash, wherever you come from in the world. And these are the devices that we saw, I think, on stage at uh, CES, right? Uh, we've seen slides and we saw a video last week which revealed a couple of interesting bits of uh, specification about the platform. Here's that docking station. So just to give you a quick overview, this is a, a docking station that has active fans in it. The tablet, when it docks into it, knows the uh, fans are there and can actually start to overclock. Uh, it's a 40% overclock on the uh, on the docking station. So this is a nominal 1.0 gigahertz. Um, I think it's the A6 1450 was used in the test, yeah? Um, and clock for clock, given the specs that we've seen so far, is kind of on, core with, uh, on, on par with core. So if you were to ramp this up to so 2 gigahertz, you'd have the same power as, a, as an Ultrabook here. But this is obviously down clocked uh, because the platform power here is around 6 watts, I think, of that order. 6 to 8 watts was the total TDP, right? Um, obviously in down clock mode, that's probably going to be a bit less than that. So this is an interesting device. Remember tablets uh, running even on Atom a couple of years ago were weighing 1.2 kilos and were a lot thicker than this. This is a 13.3 inch tablet, 1080p screen, Windows 8, multi-touch of course, and really, um, yeah, desktop capable. What, what can you say? It's, it's, it's in a step above uh, what you might call Clover Trail. Uh, devices and sits b below Ultrabook. So, what you really got is a nice usable tablet when it's undocked, and then if, could you dock that for me? And then obviously something a little bit more productive when it's docked. So, um, when can we see? I'm sorry, I'm here with with Christopher from AMD. Thanks for giving us the overview. But when do you think we'll see these devices? Sorry, these products in devices. So we're gonna Tomas will be coming to market around middle of the year, and you'll start seeing a number of products across the. Full fledged of different designs. Yeah, okay. That time. Just in time okay. for back to school. So, no announcements at uh, Mobile World Congress uh, this week with partners, or should I look around here? No announcements this week. Okay, all right. So, we'll look out for announcements next week. <laughs> all right, let's just say you through the other products here. These are all uh, OEM designs uh, built for uh, AMD, and this is a wrist drawn. Probably 11.6 11, 11 inch actually, and this takes the dual core version, which actually has a TDB of about 4 watts. So, this is completely fanless. This is the interesting thing here. I'm sorry about the noise, it's absolutely chaos here. Um, so, you'll see designs uh, with completely fanless running Windows 8 with more processing power than you get with. Uh, Clover Trail, but slightly less than than Core, which actually I think is actually the perfect place in the market for it right now. Of course, Haswell comes up later in the year, Bay Trail a bit after that. So uh, unfortunately, we can't get more information about products today, but there it is. That's Tim Ash, the demo at uh, the AMD booth at Mobile World Congress 2013. My name's Chippy. Thanks for watching.